Good evening to our attendees. Thank you so much for coming out on tonight's Power Hour. Just to let you know, we will begin shortly. Uh, so just a few more minutes, for a few more minutes, and we'll start shortly. Thanks. Mr. Beebe, I think we're all set and we are ready to start. All right, thank you. So glad to be here on tonight. Good evening and welcome to the Southfield Public Schools Power Hour on the scene with Dr. Green. I'm Daryl Beebe, the Director of Student Support Network and Stakeholder Engagement. At Southfield Public Schools, POWER stands for Parents On Hand with Engagement and Resources. We are grateful for our parents, students, educators, board members, community partners, and all stakeholders who have come together to support Southfield Public Schools through this pandemic. Tonight, you will hear mainly from our superintendent, Dr. Green, and members of the leadership team. We will discuss our senior activities, and the impact of COVID-19. As always, we want to hear from you. We want to hear from our community members. So if you have questions, please use the question and answer section during each presentation topic. Upon the conclusion of events tonight, you will also hear, be able to have question and answers with Dr. Green. Depending on our time, if we do not get to your question, we will respond to your question uh, at a later date. So tonight, once again, you'll hear from Superintendent Dr. Martin, Jennifer Martin Green, Harry, Pat, Harry Patton, Assistant Dean at University High School Academy, Aaron Marshall, Student Support Coordinator and Retention Specialist. He will serve as your moderator. And our Communications Director, Anika Corbett, Corbett, will work behind the scenes. So at this point in time, we're going to turn you into the very capable hands of our Superintendent, Dr. Jennifer Martin Green. Very fortunate to be here this evening and uh, very fortunate to have such an outstanding group of young adults. We will speak to you this evening, not as students, because you are preparing to embark on a new journey in the real world as young adults. And we will speak to you as young adults, being respectful of your feelings, your emotions, and all that you have endured throughout the COVID-19. This is nothing that you did or that you wished for. You waited 13 years to celebrate your senior year and unfortunately COVID-19 impacted us at on a global level and as a pandemic caused us to react to a number of um, governor's executive orders. So welcome class of 2020. Um, if you would advance to the next slide, let's talk about how we found ourselves here today. In early March, actually in February of this year, we've been hearing rumblings of a global pandemic that started in China. No one thought that it would hit the United States. Many did not think that it would hit other continents and or countries. We had numerous trips scheduled for our seniors to travel abroad, and we had to make decisions rapidly with the data that was available. Again, canceling trips, we began canceling a lot of events that required group gatherings, and we received a lot of pushback relative to those events. However, we did so based on, again, the data that was available and in the best interest of our students. Fast forward to March 12th of 2020. Our governor, Gretchen Whitmer, issued Executive Order 2020-35, which required school districts to close the brick and mortar foundation for the duration of the 2020 academic school year. This forced the team to pivot to distance learning and a continuity of learning plan, which afforded you an opportunity to close out your senior year, to receive the credit that you worked so hard for, 
and to earn the diplomas that were well deserved. However, it also forced us to look at other things that you were entitled to and how we could best accommodate you relative to the executive order. Most recently, the governor issued another executive order, 2020-65, which replaced 2020-35. It still outlined that we were to remain closed in terms of the brick and mortar for the duration of the school year, except it outlined that we were to have no students on campus. It also stated that we were to have gatherings of no more than 10 people, and that if we had to have essential business occur at the district level, it was to be done so with that of your parents, not the students. It was very explicit in stating that. Most recently, the governor's executive order 2079 temporarily suspended the youth work permit application requirements. In the past, you had to come to the central office, provide us with documentation of your uh, identity, of your residence, and where you were working, and we signed a green form for you to go to begin your work. Now, the governor's executive order has afforded us an opportunity to accept some of that documentation remotely and also to provide you with an electronic uh, approval or acceptance so that you can go on and begin to work. Lastly, uh, throughout the executive orders, it speaks to that of those going to serve in the armed forces. We will sign off on your transcripts early if you are enlisted in the military or in the armed forces so that you can go and begin your active duty as soon as possible. And we thank you in advance for serving our country. Please advance. This is probably the biggest question that we receive on a daily basis, our senior dues. What are we getting? When are we getting it? And what did we pay for? And can we get a refund? Let me start by saying the senior dues allocation for the two respective high schools, well, actually the three respective high schools are different. Southwood High School for the Arts and Technology and Southwood Regional integrated into their senior dues, the cap and gown, the tassel, the medallion, the senior t-shirt, the diploma, the diploma cover, and five tickets to graduation. Also the senior pin and certificate, the senior pinning ceremony, and the keepsake program. University High School Academy covered the cap and, gown, cap and gown, the diploma, the diploma cover, the keepsake program, the alumni shirt, and if you would scroll up, Miss Anika, can't see what that last item is. There was a bottom item there on the views. Uh, prom, I know, was included. So that may be the last bullet that I can't see on my screen. Green, but I do know that it was included um, in my conversations with Dean Williams, as well as Assistant Dean Patton. Now, I will say this, most of the items have either been delivered, ordered, and will be delivered, or if we are unable to deliver on those items, you will receive a refund at a later date for those items. For example, the University High School Academy will receive a full refund for their prom given that we are unable to have that prom at this time due to the governor's executive order. Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology and Southfield Regional will not receive a refund for the prom because their prom expenditures were not built into their senior dues. If you have any individual questions relative to the respective schools, please post them in the questions and answer uh, box on the right of your screen and Mr. Marshall will ask those questions when we get to the next slide. Ms. Anika, fast forward. Okay, Mr. Marshall, any questions relative to the executive orders and or the senior dues only at this time? And please take off your mute, Mr. Marshall. Thank you. I just had a question pop up um, as you asked that. Uh, if a student has not paid senior dues, can they still pay them? Yes, students can still pay senior dues. We are working on a plan to get the senior dues delivered to 
JWE, which is our administrative center, the school buildings are closed and the principals, administrators, teachers, paraprofessionals, and secretaries have been banned from the physical plant in order to maintain the safety of all within our district. Therefore, please do not hold them accountable for not being able to receive your senior dues. We will take them at the uh, district level and we are trying to come up with a provision to afford you to pay via credit card. However, we have not gotten to that point yet, but we want to make it as seamless as possible for you um, while maintaining social distancing. If we cannot take credit cards, we will have you pull up in your vehicle. We will have you put an envelope through the, um, the window of your vehicle um with the full payment and we will issue you a receipt that is the most important thing i can say this evening any cash and or money orders or cashier's checks that you give to the district personnel please expect a receipt and if you do not receive a receipt from that individual please email me immediately um so just so um everyone out here asking questions understand i see some of your questions um, and if I don't ask it, it's because I know it's coming up in the presentation. I know Mr. Patton is going to speak and a lot of your questions will be answered when he um, speaks as well. So if don't, don't think I skipped you. I just know that that answer is coming up in the presentation. Okay. Um, when can they expect the distribution of cap and gowns and other items of such? The University High School Academy did receive their uh, caps and gowns on yesterday. Again, they are two separate schools. And when the schools receive those materials, they begin to distribute those to the students. Um, it is my understanding that Southfield uh, High School for the Arts and Technology will begin their distribution after the 26th of this month. They were originally scheduled to receive their caps and gowns um, the first week in June. However, uh, through Jostens, they have been able to receive those earlier and they will begin distribution after the 26th of May. As soon as we get them in our hands, we will get them to you. Okay. Um, that was a question about the keepsake program. What does that consist of? You said, right, I, I know you mentioned that the senior, that's part of um, their news is the keepsake program. Somebody the asked, keepsake. what does that consist of? Absolutely. The keepsake program is the uh, program that is for the commencement and we will speak more to the commencement, given that it is now moved to a virtual platform when Mr. Patton uh, speaks to the audience. However, be mindful that um, it still will outline the entire program of their commencement. Let me also go back and state that we recognize that again, no fault of your own. We are living in um, unprecedented times and we want to celebrate you in any way possible that is compliant with the governor's executive order. Therefore, we've had uh, caravans and parades for valedictorians of Southfield um, High School for the Arts and Technology. We've had a caravan and parade for the valedictorian for the University High School Academy. The Office of the Superintendent through grant dollars has afforded an opportunity to buy senior yard signs for every senior in the class of 2020 at no cost to our families or students. So if you've not received your yard sign with your name on it celebrating you, you will be notified soon to pick up your sign and or have it delivered to your home. I do not, I would be remiss if I did not mention our seniors at Kennedy Learning Center. They too have received yard signs and they have had multiple caravans celebrating their success. Those two were paid for by the district and the office of the superintendent, again, through grant dollars. Thank you. So um, a bunch of other questions consist of prom, graduation. Can I go back into school and get my things? I'm a senior, things of that nature that I know we are going to answer coming up. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that the, that is the uh, majority of the questions that are left. Very good. Um, so, and, yeah. so let me address some of those now because those are very specific to the executive orders. We did not want to cancel anything that perhaps we would have an opportunity to engage in, such as prom, if the governor's executive order was lifted. Unfortunately, from March 12th through today, there have been 76 executive orders issued from the governor's office. They have extended the stay at home uh, provision, which thus affords us an opportunity to close the buildings and not have certain events. Any event that was scheduled through the end of May must be canceled due to the executive order. We have considered moving 
the um, events to a later date, which were uh, part of the survey that we sent out. And we have also tried to work with our vendors to see if we could receive a full refund for those. However, be mindful that under the governor's executive order, we cannot have gatherings, which pretty much excluded us from having a traditional prom this year. However, we did ask if you would be interested in some other um, formal celebrations in lieu of a prom, and we'll discuss that coming up soon. All right. Do you want to address the can I go back into school question and grab my, my belongings? Okay. As of today, the governor's executive order goes through the end of May. If she lifts the executive order and affords us an opportunity to bring you in to the building to get your uh, supplies and materials and the belongings that you have in our lockers, we will begin scheduling that in June. If the executive order is extended throughout the month of June, we will work with you through your parents to come into the building to get your materials. Unfortunately, the governor's the governor's executive order is very explicit in stating that students are not to be in the buildings. However, it does state that if you have a parent in need of coming into the building to get your materials, we can do that as long as we ensure through uh, the protective gear and through a series of questions to ensure that your parent is safe as well as our staff is safe that you can come into the building. So we're hopeful that she lifts, she being the governor, lifts the executive order to afford you an opportunity to come back in. If not, we will have to work through your parents to in order to get your materials and supplies. But we do recognize that we have a lot of your things still in your lockers that we need to get to you. Thank you. If um, someone has a change of address, how would they notify the school? They should go through uh, my star parent portal and update their address and or contact our pupil registration office. All of those contacts are on the web page. If they are unable to do that through our web page, if they could reach out to us directly, my emails on the website, as well as um, a number of other individuals, but you can always reach out to me directly. My email is very long. It's jennifer.martin-green at southfieldk12.org. However, if you go to the district web page, click on my, uh, my photo, it will come directly to me and we will make sure that we connect you with the right individuals because we do not want to give you the runaround. Okay, this question is asked a couple of times. I think you touched on it, but just to reiterate, um, people who still owe senior dues, will they be able to receive their cap and gown if they pay them now? Yes, if they pay them now, they will be able to receive their senior dues. We work with Jostens to ensure that we have some additional cap and gowns on order. However, they will not be specific to their exact height and weight. We will be as close to them as possible, but um, we can't guarantee that they will be the exact height and the exact weight, but they will be as close as possible. So we've tried to work um, with Jostens to ensure that we have extras. Okay. Um... Refunds. There are questions about refunds for for certain things. Are we lifting that at all? I did lift that. Um, if there is something that we are not able to deliver, we will issue refunds for those items. We again, we are a nonprofit entity, and the items that we guarantee, we will provide. If we are unable to provide those, we will issue refunds. However, those refunds will come after July one. Okay. Um, Someone said, thank you for the yard signs from the U and they, somebody also asked about Southfield A&T's yard signs. Southfield uh, A&T's yard signs were delivered to JWE on yesterday. And it is my understanding that they are developing a plan to have those to the students on the 21st of May, which is next Thursday. All right. Okay, I think we're gonna wrap up the questions for now. Once again, everyone, if you think I missed your question, um, we. Always keep these questions. They do not erase once this call is over. We will answer everyone's question um, that is asked. A lot of these will be answered um, by Mr. Patton when he presents. Um, so thank you very much for your questions. You can keep them coming. Um, this was a question um, that we posed to you through survey. Um, if you would be interested in participating in a formal event, if so, which month would you be interested in participating? Again, we only received 145 responses to the survey. So this is only a small sample 
from the entire senior class. Um, having said that, most indicated that they would be interested in having a formal event in the month of October. That would be considered uh, sim similar to that of a homecoming, and we would work with the Alumni Association to afford you an opportunity to have that gathering, uh, given that you will no longer be students and you will be alumni and young adults. So I look forward to working with our Alumni Association to ensure that you have a very successful event for homecoming in the month of October, and it would be a warm welcome into the Alumni Association. Any questions from again, let me reiterate that the prom itself, having been scheduled for the month of May, is canceled due to the governor's executive order. Um, you, you every question um lifted you actually touched on for prom. Okay. Let me introduce and welcome to the screen. Um our assistant dean from the University High School Academy, Mr. Harry Patton, who will speak to us regarding commencement. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, so basically, um, piggybacking off of the governor's executive orders, the uh, Michigan Association of Secondary School Principals and the Michigan Association of Superintendents and Administrators got together uh, for a, a meeting to discuss what does this look like for schools, especially now we're getting into the commencement season. And so there are things that we can do and things that we cannot do. So immediately uh, we launched a team to investigate and start to research what could we do and we looked at um, virtual commencements. So. Uh, when, when the uh, superintendents met and the uh, principals and administrators met, they looked at all of the data that was provided uh, through the governor's office related to the COVID. And I can just give you a short summary. For instance, 42-day mark to get from one phase to another. So it, it would take 42 days after the stay-at-home order would be um, released for any school to try to plan something. So that pushes you back six weeks from this, the end of it. And we don't even know how long this one we are currently in is really going to last if it's going to be extended. So we can't go by that and have something uh, uncertain and promise students to say, okay, we know that the order is going to end on this day and in exactly 42 days we can do this for you, we can do that, because the information changes from day to day. And so based on the uh, current executive orders, so the only thing that we actually have control over is a virtual ceremony. And we want to make sure that that is high quality. So the team began to investigate all types of companies see what could we put together that the students can say this is really a good product it really represents us it represents our years of schooling and our accomplishments so uh, that brings us to the next slide where we talk about um, Jones. this is how we came up with this company this company had a high quality movie turnkey production. In, or, in other words, gather all of the information and they will put something together that would be uh, something that you would really be able to hold on to and really celebrate with. So not just like a, a PowerPoint and then just throw your papers in there and then that's it. So there will be some slides, of course, but it will be upscale, okay? A scale program where you can actually see your names to your picture. They have options where you can uh, insert videos and share that with your family and friends. Let's let's go to the uh, next slide and can show you a little bit about that. Talk about that a little bit. Okay, so with the uh, Perth Jones, 
this this uh this this platform has something very unique. So each student would be showcased, okay? So you would be showcased with your slide t talking about your some of your accomplishments, of course your name on there. And search for your name and you will your own personal slide and then you can immediately share that out to your own social media, whether it be Snapchat, Instagram, or whatever you want. And then you can if you do a video, you have your own video that shows a snippet of your school, some highlights, and then it goes into your your picture and then your short video segment where you may have a, a couple of seconds where you talk about yourself, your accomplishments. That portion of the ceremony be, uh, can be extracted from this uh, portal, and you can send that out as well. So you have a couple of things. You have an, an entire ceremony where we can have a processional that highlights you, your name, and then speakers. And we've heard from your, the um, survey. We're not going to have long speeches and make it drawn out for you. You know, you want to get to the, the good part, you know, celebrating you. But we do want to have some speeches in there, short speeches to commemorate the event and, and then possibly some performances as well. And then, of course, the, the moment that everyone will be waiting for is the, the announcement of each student after they um, com confer the diploma and the graduation to highlight you. That will, that will be a full ceremony. Just like a regular ceremony, you have all all of the components. It's just that it would be virtual. And then you have the other component of the ceremony where you have the breakout um, slides and the breakout video showcases where you can extract that from the larger presentation to your own social media. So this, this is, a, like I said, a high-quality quality program. We looked at several programs, and um, this was the, the, the best. So we wanted you to have the, the cream of the crop uh, program. And, you know, so this is, like I said before, something that we have control over. Um, we, didn't have, we don't have control over any type of face-to-face -face or anything like that because of the executive orders coming from the government. So it's the governor. So it's not anything that the school district said, we, we don't want to have a face-to-face -face commencement. So we're, we're limited. So, it's, so we're focusing right now. At this uh, part of the, this season, into the virtual commencement, and if, you know, like Dr. Green, if she said later on, depending on like uh, when the, the executive order is ceased, what can we do later on, and what you would be interested in doing, we will focus on that mm -hmm. at another time uh, when we have more control over um, the functions that we put on. So, uh, um, are there any questions on um, regarding that, Mr. Um, Mr. Um, Patton? Before you go on, um, there are a couple things that I do wish to lift into the conversation. Um, first and foremost, this again is something that comes with a cost. However, we are not spreading that cost to our seniors. This too will be covered from the office of the superintendent by way of grant dollars that we have applied for and have received as a district. Um, so that will be at no expense to you. Also, um, I've been reminded to let you know that on Saturday, May 16th, which is this Saturday at 8 p.m., um, President Obama is going to be giving a graduation speech for all of the graduates in the class of 2020. Let's watch that together. It will be aired on NBC, ABC, CBS, and several other networks. We are also working with Herf Jones to see if we can incorporate President Obama's speech into your graduation video. Mr. Marshall will now. You ready for questions? Yes. All right. Um, question um, you may have stated, but they asked, when will this virtual commencement take place? So um, we're looking at uh, mid June right now. So we have, we have uh, mid to late June. We have uh, a deadline to upload all of this information and where the students actually have this deadline. So we we have a timeline that we're working with from the time we agreed to um, to put this commencement on 
And so there are components. So I'm glad all the students are here listening because there are components where the companies will be asking you for your information. So as long as you uh, comply with the deadline and you get your information in, um, requested in a timely manner, we can get, we'll have the um, ceremony uh, before July. Okay. And another question for their official diploma, how would they receive that? Would it be in the mail or how would that receive, how would they receive it? Let me um, jump in if I may, um, Mr. Pat. I, that document is far too important for us to put it in the mail. So we will either deliver it, deliver it to you personally by way of caravan, or we will have you come to the buildings to receive those because we do understand as of this afternoon that many of you are still interested in some sort of parade. So we are trying to work with your request um, as they are brought forward to us uh, by way of your senior sponsors and your administration. So we will get those to you personally, but we will not put those in the mail because they are far too important. And as someone already lifted in the conversation, many of the addresses have changed due to COVID and other circumstances beyond your control. Thank you. Um, also asked is, will the ceremonies be a combination of all three high schools? Uh, we will have them separate um, as we know at the Shane Park, now Aretha Franklin Amphitheater. Uh, we will have one at one time and the second at another time. We will have it streamed on our cable channels and then we will also have it on our YouTube channel. All right, um, and as far as uploading the virtual graduation information, um, is that something that a communication that we will just send out to them, all the information um, for them to upload or how does that work? Yes, that will come. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, that will come. The students will receive uh, information specifically on how to upload that, where and when, and how to upload that information. We don't have that right this second, but it's coming. So I'm glad that they asked that question. So you'd be on the lookout for that. And and I must reiterate. I must reiterate what Mr. Patton stated. Herf Jones is actually responsible for. Um, compiling all of this information and creating a high quality video. Therefore, the deadlines are very firm. We will not as a district be able to provide flexibility relative to deadlines with Herb Jones. Therefore, if you fail to get your video, your photos and or your commentary to Herb Jones in the in a timely manner, your students image will not be included in that video and we would hate for that to happen. Therefore, I strongly suggest that you start gathering photos. Now you begin to think about your favorite memories of high school, um, what impacted you, where you are transitioning to um, during the next phase of your young adulthood. All of those things will be important for you to start thinking about now. Therefore, um, you will be in position to provide Herf Jones with that information once the window opens. Thank you. Will, the, will this commencement video be available for purchase right after it's all over? Um, will they be able to purchase it or somehow down, you know, save it for later uh, usage? Well, it, it will be streamed, so it would be just available um, via internet at a certain point. So you wouldn't have to actually purchase it or like any type of flash drive or anything because it'll be it's once it's pre our YouTube channel. Yeah. So one, yeah. So once it's available yes. on YouTube, it's, it's, it's available to all after that. Right, it will be available on our district YouTube channel and they can download the link. They will not have to purchase. That is part of what we are paying for. Okay, I have other questions that I'm gonna lift um, to you, Dr. Green, that aren't graduation related. As of now, I think that is all for the graduation. If there were questions I see you all did ask, um, we will get to them individually if I did not lift them. All right, um, you, I see yearbook questions. Do we have the answers to yearbooks? Are they going, can they pick them up? How does that work um, for the senior class? So we will get the yearbooks to them. It will probably happen in a similar fashion to that of the diplomas where they, again, we either deliver them to their homes and or they come and do a drive through um, the school parking lot, they will have their ID hold it up to the window, similar to the Chromebook distribution, and we will provide them with the materials. We will place them in their trunk. 
we must ensure the safety of all of our students, our families, and our staff. Therefore, um, while it appears to be a little impersonal, it's not, it's to ensure your safety along the way. We miss you tremendously. I miss seeing you in the halls, at the games, in the local community, and I have driven past some of your homes and just have asked you to come to the door so that I can simply wave at you. We live for you. And it has been just as hard. Well, I can't say just as hard because this is your senior year, but it has been hard on us as well. And we wish to celebrate you. So whatever we can do to celebrate you, we are open to your suggestions. We are open to your recommendations as long as they are in compliance with the governor's executive order and something that we can do um, in a reasonable amount of time within a reasonable funding stream. But we'll get those items. Okay. Um, and there are um, a, a few questions um, of other things paid for. For example, if someone raised costumes, they paid hundreds of dollars for other um, items not related to senior dues. And of course, these things aren't taking place. So what are the steps they should take to try to get refund for those? Excellent questions. And because those questions have not been lifted before, we do have a transcript of this conversation as well as a recording of this conversation. What we will do is we will take all of your questions and we will investigate and we will get back to you individually with the answers, but we will also put together a Q&A for all seniors to see. Therefore, those that are not on the call um, or had not thought about that question, they too will be able to see the answers from tonight's questions. All right. And I think that is it. Like I said, I do see other questions, um, some of that were asked and answered, and we, and we will get back to you individually as soon as we get off of this call and able to review. No more questions? Um, well, there are more coming in as, you, as you're talking. Hold on one second. Excellent. This hour is dedicated to them, not to staff, not to uh, parents, specifically to the seniors because they have concerns and we want to honor their concerns. We want to honor their requests and we want to honor and celebrate them. Um, I see questions about Chromebook returns for seniors who have, who's, who've always had Chromebooks. Um, you can address that. It is my understanding, and I, I know the board president is on the phone, so I may ask him to take his mic off in just a moment. It is my understanding that once the seniors receive their Chromebooks and they uh, matriculated through the system, that they would be entitled to keep those Chromebooks. Uh, president Hicks, correct me if I'm wrong. I must be right. I, I, I oh. apologize. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. You all earned those and entitled to them and please keep them. Take them to your uh, post secondary journey. All right, let me see. We have here. Are you accepting any other graduation alternatives? Where would they send their suggestions um, for conversation? You can put your suggestions in the Q and A box. You can also send them to me directly, or you can send them to Aaron Marshall at southk 12org or Daryl BB at southk 12org or of course you can always send them to your administrators. However, please be mindful that we know that some other school districts have published information relative to drive-in movie. Um, uh, previews or premieres of uh, the virtual graduations. And while we did consider all of those options, we also recognize that the governor's executive order will probably extend beyond May 30th. Therefore, we will not be able to do that. And other districts that have already committed to that will probably have to rescind that as well. So we didn't want to set your expectations for something that we would not be able to deliver upon. We do know that we will be able to deliver on a virtual graduation that is of high quality, and we wanted to guarantee that for you so that you knew that if nothing else changed, you would have this memory to move forward with. All right. Um, I have questions here about if I owe money, for example, um, lunch money. Um, will I still receive my diploma if I owe, and how and who should I pay? You can send that money to um, the office of the superintendent um, at the John W. English Center, uh, 24661 
Lasser Road, um, Southfield, Michigan, 48033. Again, that is on the website. I didn't expect you to write that down. And you can put in the memo spot, lunch money, and your student ID number. And I will forward that to Martha Ritchie, who keeps account of the um, student lunches. So we do appreciate you wanting to close out your balances relative to lunch. The requirement by law is that at the end of your high school journey, we sign off on your transcript, indicating that you have graduated from the South of Public Schools. There are no other requirements in the law. All of the other things that we add into the celebration of our seniors is just that additional requirement that we put on ourselves. And you've earned it, so we do wish to celebrate you, but you will receive a transcript upon request outlining the fact that you have graduated. The diploma and the diploma cover is an added cost that is incorporated into your senior dues. Therefore, if you wish to have the diploma and the cover as a keepsake, you will need to cover that expense. Thank you. Um, so after the Perth Jones um, virtual commencement, is there thoughts um, about a later drive up or some kind of walk across stage at a later date after the virtual commencement? We could consider that. However, we cannot guarantee that at this time. I've also, I'm, I'm on three computers and two cell phones receiving messages from people as well. So thank you for the updates. Um, someone just shared with me that the students can also take care of their uh, lunch balances through their MyStar account. That's probably the best way to do that. So they don't have to send me a payment and I get it to Martha Ritchie and the finance team. Just go onto your MyStar account and take care of that payment directly. So thank you for that. Um, another question is, how can we get our official transcripts? Your official transcripts can be uh, requested. I believe we use, um, correct me if I'm wrong, it begins with a P. Parch parchment. Parchment, thank you. We use parchment. So you can go on to parchment those transcripts and they will be sent directly to um, the university of your choice or post-secondary institution of your choice, the armed forces, and or directly to you. If you have them come directly to you, I believe they come with a fee, Mr. Patton. Well, they can't use them, they won't be official. So it, they must go straight to the entity that are, is receiving the official transcript. And that right. they yeah. have to go through parchment. And so make sure you're registered and the parents cannot request it. It only can come from the student. So make sure students you have that taken care of. If you need assistance, you can ask your counselor um, for us. But parchment is our, our way. Even after you graduate and years later, if you need a transcript, you'll, be, you'll need to be connected to parchment for your transcript. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Patton. You know, the cap and gown questions again. So I know you touched on it. If you don't mind touching on the cap and gown question again. Indeed, cap and gowns for the University High School delivered um, to students on yesterday, cap and gowns for Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology and Southfield Regional will arrive in our district on, on or before May 26th. At that time, they will be um, distributed to students. Um, the high school team is coming up with um, an agenda in order to disseminate those to all of the families and all of the students who will receive caps and gowns, but that will be after May 26th. Thank you. Um, one question, will the diploma book cover also be included with the diploma itself since it was part of the senior dues amount? Absolutely. Thank you. And will there be another chance to purchase yearbooks if you miss it the first time? I do not have an answer to that question. I will get back with you once I speak with the sponsors, unless Mr. Patton can address that. No, I don't have any information on that. Okay, we will take that question back um, to our uh, yearbook sponsors and we will provide a global answer to that question. And for regional, it's the same as A&T as far as distribution, am I correct? That is correct. It's my understanding that there will be a specific time for students to report to Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology and there will be also a specific time for Southfield Regional on the same day um, to report to Southfield Regional to receive their items as well. Okay. Flowing in here. Um, 
see here. What is the specific date that seniors are officially done and graduated? Do we have that on us? Well, uh, Mr. Patton, I know the U has been uh, doing a countdown every day on uh, Instagram. So what day are we officially on our countdown? Well, day of exams the last day and then um, if if the student is in good standing then they have officially graduated what they need to understand is that the diploma is really a keepsake the transcript is what determines you you being a senior that's graduated and ready to move on to the next level so if you're if you're in good standing all your classes are passing and you, you know then you are as soon as you find the week is really is is coming to an end after next week. Really, after next week, it's, you're officially through if you've completed all your requirements. Thank you. And so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm understanding that May twentieth is the last day of senior finals. Therefore, between today and next Wednesday, all of our seniors should be focused on knocking out those final exams to ensure that they are counted in the number of graduates that we confer to move on to post-secondary. Um, as far as senior dues, I'm getting a lot of questions on, can you pay by cash app? Can you pay by credit card? Should they mail it in to JWE? Um, can you touch on that? We don't have cash app right now. Again, everything that we do as a governmental entity, we have to follow the general accepted accounting practices. Um, because we are audited every year by Plant Moran. So let me state that we don't try to make it difficult. However, we must adhere to the gap rules. Um, therefore, I strongly suggest that they mail it in to JWE. Again, they can send it to the office of the superintendent. We are working directly with the schools, the principals, and the senior sponsors every day. You can also, or we may consider a day where we do a drive through service similar to that of the Chromebook distribution where they can bring the senior dues to us. We have not confirmed that at this time and we will work on that uh, beginning tomorrow. So gentlemen, add that to your list of things we will discuss on tomorrow. <laughs> BB, I'm glad you're smiling because I know your list is extensive, um, but we want to make this as convenient for our families as possible. And if it requires us to do an additional uh, day where we take a drive through service, then we will. However, we must have your um, assurance that you will be there on that day. Every time we bring the staff into the district, we are exposing them and we are putting them at risk to come in. However, we are willing to make the sacrifice for you. On tomorrow, we have a food distribution for your families. If you have not been informed thus far, we have 1,200 boxes of fresh fruits and vegetables that uh, we will distribute to families between the hours of 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. as part of our uh, most recent grant um, from the USDA. That will be at Southfield High School for the Arts and Technology. Your car simply needs to come through the line, pop your trunk, and we will put that in your trunk. You don't need ID. We don't need to know what your child's name is. Simply come through and receive the resources. Right now, we all have a sense of humility and we can all benefit from the services that are being provided. So having said that, if we need to set up something similar to accept senior dues, we will be willing to do that also. All right, um, next question for Mr. Patton. There's a couple questions about graduation again. Um, one about, is there gonna be a commencement speaker for the U on the virtual graduation as well as um, you know, senior awards, those type of things, report cards or special honors, um, will they be recognized on the uh, commencement or on the graduation ceremony? So uh, each school has a program. And so the company, Herf Jones, will give us a template. And we are allowed so many speeches per program. So we haven't, uh, school has not finalized uh, exactly who will be speaking yet, but we are in the process of doing that. But there will be some speeches uh, on the program. Okay. And, and, then another, and I wanted to address another thing real quickly. I see about the finals. When I said the final exam window, that's what we used as the end date for seniors to be through. So we're just using that same date. So we know that you're not, the, the, we don't have the same final exam 
as we normally do. So final project, final assignments. Which the the bottom line is you have to be complete with your when you're finished your your course you're finished because I see questions in the uh, feed about well I'm not finished I have an incomplete I, you know my grade was lower at first now how can I make it up when so you you wouldn't be finished next week so if you have a lot to turn in before you consider it complete you your end date may not be next week because you may have some stuff to do uh, because you might have an incomplete. For the majority of seniors who have been doing their work and they're finished, next week you will be finished. Once the teachers say you're finished, you're done. So that's that in average grades. You will receive grades uh, as a senior. That was in our, our plan, our district plan about. Okay. Thank you. Um, I see there's questions about um, T-shirts and senior T-shirts, and the answer to that is your T-shirt is included um, or will be included um, because you already paid your due, so it'll be provided in the package um, of the other things that you will receive from paying your senior dues. So, yes, your T-shirt will be provided to you. Uh, reading more. Thank you. I see parents want to volunteer. I appreciate that for the food distribution. I see some questions. I don't know if you want to answer now or later about um, grades and um, incompletes and pass fail, that kind of deal. Did you want to touch on that at all right now? Um, we will have a document coming out to the entire district. Raise. We've heard that uh, question at all levels of the organization, so we will have something coming out to the collective student body as a whole, as well as to their parents to explain who will receive pass, who will receive uh, incompletes, and what time constraints they will have to make up any missing assignments. Thank you. Um, what about if someone left or has money on their lunch account that was prepaid? How would they receive that um, money back? Again, we will work through our accounting department to ensure that we are complying with um, the general accounting accepted accounting practices and we will issue them a refund via check. Unfortunately, we do not have the luxury of providing credits via credit card or PayPal or cash app. Um, school districts are still very antiquated in many regards, so we will have to issue a check back to the parent of that student. Thank you. And as far as the actual students are asking, can they receive emails and updates, um, district stuff, for example, like of when the commencement and how to upload everything directly to them? Is that something that our school principals, you know, will be distributing to the seniors? Absolutely. I think that um, system, our school messenger will afford us an opportunity to provide those messages both to the parents as well as to the students. As I started this um, power hour um, in recognition of them being young adults, we respect them as young adults and we will provide that information directly to them. All right. And yes, do I see a parent ask if they have any ideas of possibly pending on the government order um, about later um, ideas for walking across the stage or something like that, can they share them with us? And absolutely, you can share your ideas with us. Um, once again, my email is aaron.marshall, that's A-A-R-O-N dot marshall at southfieldk12.org. And my supervisor, Daryl Beebe, is Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L dot Beebe, B-E-E-B-E -E -E, at southfieldk12.org. Please, um, we actually encourage you to send us any questions, concern, recommendations. Um, we love listening to it all. Um, and hopefully we can make something happen. Like I say, it all pending the government order. So, oh, Mr. Marshall, um, the team corrected me, um, uh, which they always do. That's why it's good to have experts around you all the time. Um, school messenger only goes directly to the parents. However, the schools can send messages directly to the students by way of their school email accounts. So the students will be responsible for checking their school email accounts in order for them to receive the school updates. But the school messenger only goes directly to the parents. So forgive me for um, misspeaking 
and thank you to the team for correcting me. Thank you. Um, I think we have covered it all. Like I said, there's a bunch of questions. So please, if I miss your question, do not worry. I see the name above the question and we would definitely answer and get back to you personally if need be. And I think we are pretty good to you to wrap us up there, BB. Well, we are, and we have exactly two minutes. Thank you all this evening. Mr. B, close it out for us. Uh, once again, uh, thank you all so much. Thank you to Dr. Green. Uh, thank you to the entire group that came on and helped us on tonight. Once again, we are truly grateful. Uh, and as Dr. Green stated, we really, really miss you. We miss seeing you. We miss being in the hallways with you, hearing your voices, seeing your faces. Uh, but we're doing the very best we can from a support standpoint as a district uh, following the lead of Dr. Green. So uh, if once again, if we did not answer your question, we are going to get back to you. Um, if it wasn't answered uh, through this, this uh, presentation on tonight. Once again, we thank you uh, once again to our board, president, to our board members, trustees, community members, all stakeholders, and specifically our students. We're grateful for you and we want you to have a great night. Thank you all so much for coming out and, and sharing with us on tonight. Thank you. You all stay safe, please.